You are now listening to Horganize with professional organizer and extreme cleaner Rachel Seavey. Every Sunday at 6 p.m., Rachel shares organizing tips and hacks. Rachel combines her experience, expertise, and compassion to help people learn new methods on how to deal with overwhelming clutter. Her media appearances include The Hoarders Show, The CBS Sunday Morning Show, and The Lady Brain Show. Take it away, Rachel. Hey, collectors. Thank you for tuning in to the Hoardganize podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Seavey. And you are on number nine of the Where Do I Begin series, What Now? And this is one of my favorite topics. It's a question that I get asked all the time. How long should someone declutter for? Now, this is an important question. How long should someone declutter for at a time? It could be within an hour, within a day, within a week. What is the recommended amount of time? I recommend that you do declutter every single day. And this is an easy process if you can fit it in. Every day sounds like a lot. Every day sounds like an overwhelming amount of work to do. But please take a deep breath because the recommended amount of time that you should spend decluttering daily before you take a break is 15 minutes, especially if you are not used to decluttering. 15 minutes might not sound like a lot, but let's face it, folks, you are not doing anything right now at all. So the recommended amount of time is 15 minutes. Where did this recommendation come from? Well, it comes from personal experience, many of the hoarding books that I've read, colleague. It's not just something that I made up or came up with for the podcast. So you want to work 15 minutes and stop, or you can work 15 minutes and take a break. It's up to you and your schedule. Are you easily distracted by setting a loud timer or a visual timer You'll know exactly when your 15 minutes is up. I love timers. It's so easy to get absorbed and lose track of time. We all do it. Set a timer and always make sure that you work on one task at a time, especially for my ADHDers. This is very important. Work on one task at a time for 15 minutes. Are you not really sure what area to work on? That's okay. Go back to episode three of the series, Where Do I Begin? The same series here on YouTube and get a refresher. It's okay to not know where to begin later on in this process. Listen to episode three and then come back to this episode and you should hopefully know where to begin. Maybe you know where to get begin, but you just find it hard to prioritize. You've got more than 10 things to do, and you know for sure that 15 minutes is not going to be enough. Just start by picking one task. Don't get stuck in the shoulds and spend your 15 minutes in organizing limbo, thinking, should I start here or should I start there? As Tony Robbins says, don't should all over yourself. Just pick one area at a time, work for 15 minutes, and stop. And what, what do I even mean by stop? Uh, perhaps you're on a roll. You don't want to stop. A break could simply mean just closing your eyes and taking a deep breath, reshifting your seating position, having a snack, getting some water, stretching, going to the restroom, petting your cat. You don't have to completely stop everything you're doing and abandon ship. Collectors, this is not all or nothing, and you have got to get out of that all or nothing thinking pattern. So if you are going back to your efforts after your break, 
make sure that you pick up right where you left off. Don't get distracted and start a new project. And please try not to have multiple projects running at once. It will make it hard for you to focus. It's especially important that you finish this project before you start the next. If you're done for the day after 15 minutes, congratulate yourself. You dedicated some time and you worked on your home. I know it's only 15 minutes, but 15 minutes adds up. And let's face it, you aren't doing anything beforehand. So good for you. 15 minutes is a great way to start. You're building new habits and new routines. And perhaps sometime in the future, you'll add more 15-minute sessions into your lifestyle. Remember, collectors, you don't have to go hard or go home. It is not all or nothing. This is about learning new methods to deal with clutter for the rest of your life. All of that stuff did not get into your home overnight. And it might possibly even take longer to get it out of your home. That is okay. Tackle your clutter 15 minutes at a time and stop beating yourself up about it. I know you're hard on yourself because you feel like this isn't enough, it's not going fast enough, and that you're never going to finish. But you have got to give yourselves a break, collectors. If you're listening to my podcast on YouTube, please show me some love and click the thumbs up button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, or leave a comment. Until next time, collectors, and remember... Happiness is a place between too little and too much. Thanks for tuning in to Hordganize with Rachel Seavey. Listen every Sunday at 6 p.m. or watch on Collector Care's YouTube channel. Rachel is the owner of Collector Care Professional Organizers and Extreme Cleaners located in sunny Northern California. Her passion is helping those overwhelmed with clutter, and she regularly speaks to families, local agencies, and the public about chronic disorganization and hoarding disorder. Her popular Affirmations for Collectors download can be found on iTunes or Amazon. Sign up for her blog and receive 7 tips for clutter-free living at CollectorCare.com.